Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Lucario from Pokemon. So we're going to start with the eye. At the top of the eye we're going to draw a curve, going from the bottom left to the top right. And from here we're going to connect these two points with a curve that goes down and then back up. And from here let's draw on the pupil. So on this side on the right we're going to draw a curve and we'll draw the small little oval in the middle right there. And let's move over to the left. We're going to draw the tip of the nose. We're going to have the head sort of pointed this way. So right at the bottom of the eye, we're going to move across. And we're going to just draw the top edge of the nose. So a little curve like that. From here, we're going to work our way up to the top of the head. So right about here is the top of the head. About halfway along this line, we're going to draw the profile edge of the face, or the curve that goes up. And from here, we're going to sort of turn in just above the eye there. Okay, let's draw on this eye here. So from this point, we're going to curve down to the tip of the nose and we're going to draw in a curve around halfway for the other pupil. We're going to just draw a little oval on the inside. Let's draw the ear. So up here, we're going to draw a long ear that goes up from this point to the top. So right where my thumb is, I'm going to draw this curve for the ear. So this curve up towards my finger and then right about here, the side of the head will come up to about here. So I'm going to draw this line coming down in the opposite direction. Now, for the jaw, we're going to draw the bottom of the chin right about here. So on the front, we're going to draw the neck. So let's draw in the bottom of the chin going towards my finger. I'm going to leave a gap. I'm going to go up along the side of the head. I'm going to curve up towards that ear, like so. Let's go ahead and draw that ear on the back side. So from this point on the head, I'm going to curve to the top of the ear. From here, let's curve down and towards the middle of the, the top of the head there. Now we've got some little detail in the insides of the ear, so let's go ahead and draw that. So on one side, we're going to curve up, then we're going to curve down on the other side. And from these two points, we're going to converge to a point in the middle by going up. On the left side here, we're going to do the same thing. So curving up from that line, then we're going to curve down to that line. And then from these two points, we're going to curve up to a point. Now let's draw some detail on the face. At the nose area here, there's a little curve. So from here, I'm going to curve up. From this point, I'm going to work my way to that point in the back of the head, the curve that goes down. From above this eye, we're just going to move up here, angle line coming down. From here, we're going to curve up to the top of the head. We're going to move the pen over a little bit to the top of this ear, or this edge of the ear. We're going to curve down. And then from here, we're going to curve out to the side of the head. Now let's draw in the appendages that hang from the back of the head. So from here, I'm going to curve down and tuck this in underneath the head like that. We're going to do an overlap. So I'm going to move over a little bit and tuck in another sort of hair strand there. On the back here, there's one that comes down this way. So right about here, I'm just going to curve down like so. With the neck, let's go ahead and draw the neck on the front. So a line coming down the front and a straight line coming down the back. Now there's these little hairs that stick around the neck here. So all I need to do is sort of figure out how high or how wide the shoulders will be. So right about there. I'm going to start at the front here. I'm going to do a series of zigzags like this. Kind of come up, around, and kind of down. And the other side here of the neck, I'm going to draw Line poking, line poking out there on the top and the bottom. Now we're going to have to draw things that are layered on top of the chest before I get into the rest of the body. So the thing in front would be the shoulder. So there's a big oval in the shoulder, but the arm comes into that oval. So right about here I'm going to draw a curve. It comes down like that. And imagine this curve going all the way around and on the back like that. So you can see that there's an oval here, but I'm going to have to leave a gap here for the arm. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve like so. I'm going to have the arm coming down and then up into a fist. So right here is where I want the elbow, right where my finger is. I'm going to take this point and go right into my finger and then make it twice as thick from that point. So I'm going to close this off a little bit. Now for the fist, I'm going to go up on the inside first. So I'm going to do an overlap here. I'm going to go up. Do an overlap and draw the first knuckle. So going up in an angle, rounding out one of the knuckles, and then coming into the back of the hand there. From here I'm going to go up and curve this around. And from 
here I'm going to go up in an angle in the opposite way. Now here I'm going to round up towards the back of the hand. Stop right about there because he's got these spikes on the back of the hand. So from this point, I'm going to round out the back. Now these two points here, I'm going to go to a central point out like that. So I'm going to put a point there, draw a straight line right into that point. Now to this elbow, I'm going to take this point up somewhere near the spike and just curve right in. You can see that I'm tapering it so it gets a little bit thinner as it gets towards the elbow. And along the wrist area here, there's a little detail. Kind of looks like that. Okay, now let's get into the body. So here, there's a really thin body here, but there's also a spike that looks like that in the middle of the chest. So I'm going to have to draw that first. So let's draw the inset. Now this is going to come out to a point. So I'm going to draw a point in the middle there and draw two lines coming out from it. Now from here, from this point in the chest, I'm going to come out. Now this is going to come up to the waist. So the waist will come down to about here. I'm going to curve out in the opposite direction. Right here, I'm going to curve out. So you see it's a very thin waist. And from these two points, I'm going to connect this with a curve that goes up like that. Now let's draw the other arm here. So you can see this oval here, I'm going to have to draw in the back here. So this gets drawn behind the chest. So right about here, I'm going to draw a curve that tucks in behind the chest there. Let's draw the arm. So I'm going to have the elbow coming down to here, up to a fist. So let's draw the bottom elbow first. So right about here is where I'm going to draw a curve going towards the elbow. And from here, I'm going to go all the way up to the knuckle of the fist. So right about there. Like so now let's draw some knuckles. So I'm going to go up in an angle and curve down towards the palm of the hand. And just draw a little line that goes up like that. Now from here, I'm going to move over a bit, draw an angled line, go out, and tuck this in under that one finger. Now from here, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to tuck this in under that finger there. Now I'm going to draw the inner part of the arm, the forearm. It's going to go in towards the elbow like that. Do a slight overlap and tuck this in underneath that shoulder area. Now with the spike, I'm going to have to draw it back here, but because the spike and the hand is turned over, it'll get drawn in behind. So I'm going to draw it right there like that. And like here, i got this elbow or this wrist detail. Just draw a little zigzag along the wrist like that. Uh, one thing I almost forgot is the mouth. So there's a mouth right down here. I'm just going to draw a little curve that goes like that. Okay, let's get into the bottom part of the body. So here I'm going to have the legs on either side. He's got these big sort of thigh area, so from this point I want to draw towards the knees, which will be right roughly about there. So from this point, I'm going to curve out, and then on the right side I want to curve out. I'm just blocking out the width of the legs first. Now from here, they're going to converge towards the center point, so on this side, I'm going to draw a curve at the bottom of the thigh. Now this is going to go up and towards the middle. I'm going to do an overlap here, and just draw a curve coming down. Now, this leg in the back is going to be pointing backwards. This leg in the front is actually pointing forward. So I'm going to actually see the socket of the leg going into the thigh here, but it'll be overlapped on this side. So let's draw this leg first. So here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes in. Now I'm going to leave a gap for the thigh and the knee, but continue on the other side there. Up here, I'm going to draw a curve. From this point, let's draw on the kneecap. So from here, I want to make sure I stay inside of that line. Just draw a curve like that. Here, I'm going to draw a line going to the back of the knee. And up here, I'm going to overlap it, coming down towards the heel. So that's roughly the length of the leg. From this point, I'm going to go across the bottom of the foot and round up the one toe. I'm going to come up a little bit and do an overlap. So coming out, I'm going to round up the toe and tuck that in behind, come up a little bit, come out, round up that toe. Now from here, I want to do an overlap and just curve this right into that foot, like so. Let's go to the back leg here. So I'm going to take this foot and draw it in reverse or in the opposite direction. So start with the knee first, so drawing a curve like that. Now here, I'm going to draw the back of the knee. It's going to go into the heel, so right about here, curve down towards the back of the heel. Now let's draw on the bottom of the foot. So I'm going across the bottom like I did here, rounding up the toe. Let's go up and go across. I'm going to draw the toe, tucked in behind, up, 
across and tucking this toe in behind. Now, taking this point from the knee and curving out towards the, the last toe there. Final part is the tail. Let's draw a little bit of detail here. So there's a little curve that goes along the middle of the, the uh, lower torso and there's some hairs that kind of come out like this and let's draw the tail. So back here I'm going to draw a curve that goes up and then in the opposite direction curving down. Let's go down here a little bit and curve up. You see it's getting thinner as I go up, leaving a gap here, do an overlap and finish off the tail like so and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Lucario from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.